Yeah. Hello and welcome to my exercise application video number eight, I believe. And today I want to talk about um, fatigue in weightlifting in with type two muscle fibers. So today I did a leg day, which is my least favorite, but that's okay. And I find myself fatiguing very easily on some leg days because that's where I tend to do my heaviest loads and that makes sense. So the main things we think about when we think about fatigue pertaining to type two, your fast twitch muscle fibers. And like we talked about some yesterday, you have two types of type two muscle fibers. You have type two A and type two X. Um, again, type 2A or in between a type 1 and a type 2X, type X are your extreme max force fatigue very quickly. And if, when we're talking about fatigue, that's your inability to continue your work rate. So whether that's you run out of fuel, something happens that disrupts your body's homeostasis, which is what happens with type 2 fibers, um, you just cannot continue with what you're doing. And so with legs, um, uh, type 2, I did movements like today when I was squatting, I did three sets of three, um, so higher reps, higher weights, high intensity. And so <clears throat> the limiting factor for type 2X and type 2A muscle fibers is actually hydrogen ions. So we've talked about this, but after glycolysis, your pyruvate has one of two destinations. It can either convert to acetyl-CoA and go into aerobic respiration, respiration via Krebs cycle, or um, that pyruvate can be converted into lactate and the hydrogen ions. So it's converted when we have too much NADH in our body, we get that lactate and the loose hydrogen ion, which acts actually as an acid. And because it's an acid, it lowers the pH of our body, and most parts of our body um, prefer a more basic pH. There are some exceptions, you know, we, our skin is pretty acidic, our stomach, but for the most part, our body prefers a basic pH to function best. And so when we get that acid in our body, it not only causes us to feel that burn in our muscle, but um, our myosin and actin can't function as they normally should, and our rate limiting enzymes and our bioenergetic pathways cannot function. So our phosphofructokinase, our isocitrate, they don't function properly. So our muscular contraction um, cannot be sustained long after we start to feel that burn. So, for example, today I was doing weighted wall sits, just basically three sets until failure. So, I had a 25 pound plate in my lap. So once you get to about that, you know, minute 25, minute 30 mark, I'm going down. And it's because I'm, I'm feeling that burn, I'm in pain, that's that free acid pulsing through my quad muscle. And then finally, I, my body has just had enough. Um, that's acid. The other thing, the second thing we think about when we think of fatigue with fast twitch, high intensity, high force production movements is our Golgi tendon organs. So our Golgi tendon or organs are a type of proprioceptors. So proprioceptors sense um, our space and movement and tension and different forces within our tendons, within our joints, within our muscles, whereas our exteroceptors would sense things like touch, pressure, on the skin. So our proprioceptors are more internal sensing changes in movement. And so our two ones that help protect us are our muscle spindles and our Golgi tendon organs. Muscle spindles are activated when there's too much stretch in a muscle belly. And so that's why at the doctor, they hit your knee, your leg goes out. So if you hit your patellar tendon, it causes your quadricep to actually stretch down really far for a brief moment. And the response you get with um, muscle spindles is then an immediate contraction. So the reason your leg kicks out is because your quadricep is being um, lengthened beyond what's safe when you hit your patellar tendon. So to protect that quad muscle, your leg contracts, your quad's protected. Protective mechanism, your Golgi tendon organs, this is what you see in when you fail a one rep max. So your Golgi tendon organs are located in the tendons of your muscle. So here's your muscle belly, like, Here's my muscle belly. I have a tendon down here. I have one up here. So they're in these tendons on the end of my muscle. And um, what they do is they measure tension. So when your body senses you have too much tension going on, it inhibits contraction. So it causes your muscles to relax. So let's say like last week I was squatting, then all of a sudden I was down. That bar was going off my back. Um, and what happened was my Golgi tendon organs sensed, hey, this is a lot of tension, she might get hurt. And so to protect my body and my muscles and my joints, my Golgi tendon organs sent an inhibitory postsynaptic potential 
um, inhibited that contraction and my, my leg muscles relaxed, causing me to immediately fail. So that's a protective mechanism, but it's also something that induces fatigue in the body. So that is fatigue for our type 2 or fast twitch fibers.